1 by cos theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta into sin theta. Here there is no, there is no denominator. LHS is equal to 1 minus cos theta minus cos theta. Here take LCM. That is equal for 1 and cos theta, LCM is cos theta. So here 1 and only one uh, denominator 1 is there. So cos theta into cos theta, cos square theta. So 1 minus cos square theta, so formula is there. That is sin square theta divided by cos theta. Now sin square theta means you can write here sin theta into sin theta divided by cos theta. Sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta. So here sin theta by cos theta into sin theta we have to write. Sin theta by cos theta tan theta into sin theta. So that is equal to RHS. Number 11. Simplify secant a into 1 minus sin a into secant a plus tan a. Just uh, leave here secant a into 1 minus sin a, write directly, and secant a means 1 by cos a plus tan a is sin a divided by cos a. Just take the LCM, that is equal to secant a into 1 minus sin a into so here cos a cos a denominator is same so lcm is cos a and you write both the numerators directly 1 plus sin a that is equal to secant a is there and next here 1 minus sin a into 1 plus sin a a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square that means 1 minus sin square a so divided by cos a is there right that is equal to secant a into 1 minus sin square a means cos square a divided by cos a. Cos a, cos a will go. That is equal to secant a into cos a. We know that this value is equal to 1. Secant a is 1 by cos a into cos a. Cos a, cos a will go. That is equal to 1. Question number 12. Simplify 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta into 1 plus cos square theta. So here we know that 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta that is a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. We have to apply that one. 1 minus cos square theta into 1 plus cos square theta. 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta from the trigonometric first identity. And 1 plus cos square theta is cosecant square theta that is from the third trigonometric identity. So, sin square theta into cosecant square theta means we can write this as sin square theta. Sin square theta, sin square theta will go that is equal to 1. Next question, if secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p, then find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. From trigonometric third identity, secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. By applying a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So here secant square theta minus tan square theta means secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. So we have to find secant theta minus tan theta. So that means this value you have to find. Keep this side only. So implies secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by this term will come to this denominator that is secant theta plus tan theta. But the given value is secant theta plus tan theta is equal to p. So that is equal to 1 by this total value is equal to p. Therefore secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 by p.